So just got done watching breaking news, U.S. versus Bitcoin price manipulation from one of my favorite YouTubers currently, Sonny Decree. I highly recommend you come to his channel, click the subscribe button, hit that bell notification icon if you would like. Be notified. Actually, I need to do that. Be notified uh, whenever he posts a new video. Now, I'll, I'm beginning to like Sonny's channel more and more, but I wanted to comment really on some of what he dis what was discussed here. Uh, let's just start playing. I just want my money to be removed, and I will leave this industry forever. I hope I get my money back. That's all I care. He's simply um, talking about comments from one of his last videos on why the price is low. I'm so fucking sick of watching my money disappear in crypto. Fuck this. I'm done being a long-term bull. I'll sit on my cash and just play the uptrends. You guys have fun sitting through the bear market. One manipulation. Two, manipulation, three, manipulation, four, manipulation, and a few stupid bits. Bear market. Hang on, I want to back this up. I'll sit on my cash and just play the uptrends. I want you to hear that comment one more time. I'm so fucking sick of watching my money disappear in crypto. Fuck this. I'm done being a long-term bull. I'll sit on my cash and just play the uptrends. I'm done being a long-term hold. I'll sit on my cash and just play the uptrends. First of all, let's talk about that for a moment. So if you're th if someone's thinking about sitting on their cash and playing the uptrends, how do they know that we're actually in an uptrend? How do they know how long the trend's going to last? I mean, if you, if you, if you can't long-term hold, then you probably should just get out of the market. I mean, the, one of the good things about this bear market is a lot of, YouTubers and a lot of guys have made a ton of money on trading in and out of the markets. My personal belief is that I mean, there's nothing wrong with trading per se, but my personal belief is if, if that's your primary way of making it, then anybody, just like in the 1990tech.com boom, those of you who may remember that, anyone can day trade a, an upward market and you can feel like a genius day trading it because you just keep going in and out on an uptrend and it's a sustained uptrend. But when the, that trend reverses and it continues to reverse and it continues to reverse, guys keep buying in because they think, oh, this is going to be the moment, this is support or this is going to be a breakout. You know, the charts keep faking them out and they're losing their tails day trading. And I think that's good overall for the market because in general, again, I, I'm a gambler at heart. I don't have a problem with people trading but trying to teach people that that's a viable way to be able to play this market long term, especially because it's so volatile, I think that's dangerous. If you can't buy and hold something like Bitcoin, then let's face it, you probably shouldn't be in the market. Um, but let's continue to watch. You guys have fun sitting through the bear market. One, manipulation. Two, manipulation. Three, manipulation. For manipulation and a few stupid bits. So I'm watching this and I'm sitting here thinking a decentralized distributed exchange or um, network. A decentralized distributed network that's vastly distributed. This isn't a small network, this is a huge network. There are ways to potentially manipulate a, a proof of work network. But it's not easy. You would have to own 51% or control 51% of all of the computing power of the blockchain. I am not certain at this current point in time if there's anyone that's capable of owning 51%. I could be wrong, uh, but I'm not so certain that's even capable, that, that there's anyone that's actually even capable of doing that at this point. And if they would have been capable of doing it, they would have done it a long time ago, most likely, in my opinion. Let's continue watching. Here and welcome to another episode. The fall of cryptocurrencies do not really seem to stop. Today we have some breaking news, and this is very important. If you guys like the content, please make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel for more. And now, I do recommend that you subscribe to his channel. Also, subscribe to my channel. Hit the thumbs up icon for both of our channels if you like the content, uh, and of course, hit the bell notification as well for both of our channels.
jump right into it. By now it is no secret anymore and we can also not deny it. We are going into a bigger correction in here already. A bigger dig, bigger crash, whatever you want to call it. And it doesn't seem to have an end anytime soon. Now the news I found today is so important. One of the things I love about Sunny DQ by the way is he's definitely a Bitcoin maximalist. And although I have bigger investments in other altcoins and stuff right now um, over Bitcoin, long term, I too am probably a Bitcoin maximalist. If anything makes it in the crypto space, it's most likely going to be Bitcoin, in my opinion. So I actually had to make my video earlier and I'm going to do the rest of the things that I have to do later on during the day. Now get this guys. US launches criminal probe into Bitcoin price manipulation. There was a discussion out there already and some people are actually saying no, the price of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are not manipulated at all. I personally think that is complete nonsense. If you think about it, I mean, there are lawsuits, there are cases in the real markets with insider trading or just price manipulation. Okay, so here's my first concern. He says that he he's saying that he believes the markets are in fact being manipulated and he's comparing it to other market manipulation cases. So he's saying that he does believe that the markets are in fact getting manipulated. And I don't know if he means I can only take him at his word. Here's what I say, because I don't I tend to believe that the markets probably aren't being manipulated. However, what I can say is. Does it mean that people have tried it? I'm certain people have attempted to manipulate the market. I mean, arguably George Soros manipulated the Forex markets to be able to make his fortune. And it depends on what you consider manipulation. Do you consider, you know, buying up, you know, a lot of Bitcoin? Do you consider what he's going to, he's going to show you an example of what he considers manipulation here in a moment which comes out here and there, right? So why should in a completely unregulated market, something like that not happen, right? Especially when there are so many people out there from back in the day, some Bitcoin or other cryptocurrency OGs who have a lot of cryptocurrencies. It's so easy for them to actually manipulate the market with so-called spoofing. And that's what we're going to talk about. If OGs, which stands for old guard, by the way, people who were buying and holding Bitcoin, and investing in Bitcoin long before, um, you know, years ago when Bitcoin was a few hundred or even un under a hundred dollars a piece. Uh, some of those, so some of those people have been buying Bitcoin when it was five and ten dollars per Bitcoin. So he's saying, what are the odds that some of the old guard, some of those people who've been buying Bitcoin and holding on to it all the way back then, what are the odds that you know he, he's saying that they could definitely be somehow manipulating the market? But here's my thought on that. Why now? Why would they suddenly start making, manipulating the market at this point if that was the case? Um, I, I mean, and the, the old guard, most of these people want to see Bitcoin succeed. Again, that in my mind, my opinion is I don't think that's likely. I'm not going to say it couldn't happen, but it, I don't think that that's likely. And even if it is likely, they've got to, they would have to own a ton of Bitcoin. But let's keep watching and listen to what he says in a second as well so this news in here is brand new so probably you hear it on this channel first the justice department has opened a criminal probe into whether traders are manipulating the price of bitcoin and other digital currencies dramatically ratcheting up u.s scrutiny of red hot market that critics say are rife with misconduct according to four people familiar with the matter the investigation is focused on illegal practices that can influence prices such as spoofing or flooding the market with fake orders to trick other traders into buying or selling said the people who ask not to be identified because the review is private now just to explain you guys spoofing in here real quick you guys know these order books here on bitmax for example or here on cheatx i think cheatx is the better example in here because on bitmax you're trading bitcoin contracts right but on cheatx you're trading the actual bitcoin now what does spoofing mean now let's say for example you are interested that the price of bitcoin goes up and you have a lot of money now you can actually fill these order books in here with a lot of buy orders and then people actually think that hey wait a second 
there are so many buy orders so that means we are bullish a lot of people are actually interested they create fake demand with that but they're not really interested in getting those orders filled actually now what does that mean they just need a bunch of money pretend that there is demand right and then they remove their orders again once the price of bitcoin comes close to their limit they have set so you can definitely see spoofing as a manipulation of the cryptocurrency or just markets in general now I'm definitely would be interested what you guys think about this topic first okay let's talk about what i think about this topic first of all if spoofings occur it takes a tremendous amount of money and again why not before now second of all what's the end game to get the price even lower so you can ultimately buy it again granted that creates a lot of volatility um but unless they're trying to destroy bitcoin in general i don't necessarily see that happen and i don't think it's possible and here's the flip side of this what's the u.s government going to do about this if someone is intentionally spoofing bitcoin prices they've already laundered their bitcoin through you know coin spinners through you know monero other privacy coins i mean they should be pretty well hidden um and if they're not u.s citizens and they're outside the jurisdiction of the u.s what again exactly what are they going to do i mean the u.s government couldn't detect bernie madoff i mean what are they going to do if something's criminals taking place i'm not saying that they shouldn't go after criminals but it's a sketchy place again when you start asking the government to protect you in a decentralized distributed trustless network if spoofing is occurring then these things obviously can happen and, and can take place however they've always if this if this is the case it's not the first time it's happened and it's part of what you have in this system again i'm not even certain that spoofing's taking place here's the bottom line there's no hard asset backing bitcoin if people if the market sentiment is low it's stagnant it's run its course people aren't excited about it right now at this very point in time they're not excited about it from as a speculative asset they're not excited they're not excited about it um, at all, then, I mean, what, what can you do? Let's keep going. First of all, do you think Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies are manipulated? And secondly, do you think spoofing of Bitcoin? Absolutely think Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency can be manipulated, especially the smaller ones, smaller market caps changes is actually happening so people are creating orders to create fake demand authorities worry that virtual currencies are susceptible to fraud for multiple reasons skepticism that all exchanges are actively pursuing cheaters while price swings that could make it easy to push violations around and a lack of regulations like the ones that govern stocks and other assets so in my opinion this is a little bit of a problem I think okay say that again other assets so in my opinion this is a little bit of a problem I think we'll say that one more time so in my opinion this is a little bit of a problem i think that a lot of people are actually in the crypto space because it is not really regulated that's why people should be in the crypto space i think the majority of people are in the crypto space because they're simply trying to jump on the bandwagon of the price swings that we had last year the the upswings that's probably why most people are in the crypto space without question they should be in this space because they understand the technology and they understand you know blockchain and they want to be able to see a decentralized distributed a decentralized distributed currency that can be outside of government manipulation hard manipulation increasing and decreasing the supply so the irony is our government wants to go after market manipulation but they're the very ones doing the their own financial manipulation not when i say our government it's all governments in general all governments print money all governments print money all governments print money right i mean that is something which is very nice about cryptocurrencies in a way but on the other hand well he says in a way it's nice now, i think he's trying to say that there's downsides but it's not in a way like that's the primary reason cryptocurrencies are nice is because they they are difficult to regulate and currently operate in primarily an unregulated space. 
you have to think about those investors who are not that educated those people who just hear about bitcoin from friends and family and they want to be a part as well they want to invest as well but they have no idea what's exactly going on and of course the huge volatility that bitcoin already does have can obviously be leveraged if there are actually manipulators in this market as well there are also futures so i'm not quite sure if futures were a good thing right i mean there were some people with a financial background saying hey well with the futures we're going to tame bitcoin but in my personal opinion the futures just give you a higher incentive or just give people a higher incentive to actually manipulate the price of bitcoin because once again as i said yesterday already i find it very weird actually okay first of all so what he's trying to say here is that the future markets the fu if you don't understand future markets are a leveraged market so you can have you know for instance a hundred dollars and control a thousand dollars worth of bitcoin um so large financial institutions can use futures to have to control a, a large percentage or a large you know portion so he's saying because of the leverage it increases the odds that someone would want to manipulate the market or increases the incentive that someone would want to manipulate the market what also happens though when you bring in futures is you also create a lot more liquidity in the market there's a lot more market orders um, and unless you can get everyone playing on the same side of the team against someone else and i guess that is possible it's far more challenging to manipulate the market um, in a way that that's going to be profitable for everyone or at least for the 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 quote unquote manipulators. So let's keep watching. You'll see what I'm talking about. That here were the futures announced, then the price pumped like crazy, and those people who bought it just dumped it again and profited twice from the Bitcoin gains and also from the shorting. He made that sound entirely too simple. First of all, yes, could that have occurred? Yes, maybe. But greed and fear is a, two emotions that everyone deals with. If it was that easy, you would see it go up perfectly and come down perfectly. But this is messy. This is messy. This is messy. I mean, so the, the guys who, I can tell you this, the guys who wanted the market to go down here, if this was a coordinated effort, and I don't believe that it was, but if it was, and, and keep in mind, it's not that I don't believe market manipulation exists. It's just extremely challenging to manipulate um, a decentralized, distributed, trustless network. It's possible, but if it's that possible to easily manipulate, then that's a reason to sell Bitcoin because the entire technology is messed up. I think this is overall market sentiment, and I'll cover that more in a few moments. But if these financiers or banks or brokers or whatever wanted the market to drop here and they got started way back here, as he suggested, then right here, they got real nervous because it looked like their plan wasn't working. You got to assume they didn't have a crystal ball to see the future. For all they knew, all the, you know, the excited people that were just going to drive the market way up, or they start wondering, did some banker or some broker break the ranks? Are they suddenly, you know, manipulating the manipulators? So it's not as easy of an explanation, but people, anytime there's something that can't be explained, people want to look for, you know, just a very easy, convenient explanation for their emotions. And I think that's what's happening right here. Bitcoin futures. So yes, I do think the price of cryptocurrencies are manipulated, very speculative, and I'm not quite sure if it is easy for the US government or just for governments or authorities in general to actually take that situation. And if they do, I think that news is definitely more on the bearish than I want to hear that again. Do, I think that news is definitely more on the bearish than on the bullish side, but that is just for me. We have another bearish headline. So now he's about to go into what I believe is manipulation that is occurring, but it's just part of the market. This occurs in every market, in every industry, really around the world. Um, so what he's saying here is, does he believe that the prices are manipulating? He believes that they're more likely manipulated uh, on the at the market level than I personally believe. However, we, Sonny and I agree 100%. If the... U.S. government or any government can actually, if they can actually get involved and create regulations in the market with the intention of making the market better, 
then at that point, ultimately, that's extremely bearish because the whole point is to be able to limit government involvement in this space. Now, do I believe market manipulation occurs? I think so, but I think it's on the information side, and that's what he's going to explain right here. From Bloomberg, they're definitely going ham. But you guys know that the articles from Bloomberg, I do not take them too serious. So the prices are definitely suffering today. We already hear this news in here, which uh, seems to be quite serious, actually, also from Bloomberg. But why are they also bringing out this article on the exact same day? I mean, for me, this also looks a little bit like media manipulation, if you ask me. And this is not the first time I say this about Bloomberg. So why would that first? First bearish article would they also post this article in here which they could have posted tomorrow or yesterday or whatever it really seems to me but maybe this is really just an Illuminati theory in here but it seems to me that they want to leverage the bearish news already to basically be even more bearish Singapore absolutely I don't think that's up for debate listen governments around the world have used information campaigns US government included um, Companies use information campaigns. If you ever do research on drug companies, they start years in advance before a, a drug comes out to through what's called you know information marketing or information campaigns. So I agree with them 100%. I don't think it's coincidence that these two um, news articles came out on the exact same day. However, I don't know that that ultimately matters long term. I don't think any of this ultimately matters long term for the price of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in general. So let me know what your thoughts are on Sunny Decrease video. By the way, go subscribe to his channel um, and, and, you know, thumbs up his channel because this is good content he's putting out there. And it's important for people to understand. Listen, if you're in this space, you want to be familiar with the technology. Uh, you want to make sure you're not investing more than you can. Um, and, and this is a time to be buying. And the, you, it, you always want to buy on when the market's down. You don't want to buy when it's at its peak, when it's going up. You want to buy when it's going down, but you can't buy when it's going down if you're over leveraged, if you're you're putting in more money than you have um, or and you shouldn't be buying at all unless you believe in the future of the technology. I highly recommend that you don't simply speculate on the current price. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below.